Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you'll never miss an upload and flash giveaway. <laughs> but um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Chevy Monique and today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. So it's going to be an episode of Chevy Speaks Q&A. <laughs> I basically asked you guys if you had any questions on Instagram. And you guys had a whole bunch of questions for me, so I'm going to go ahead and jump straight on into it. I also received an email from one of my subscribers with, actually maybe it was a DM on Instagram, with a whole bunch of questions that she had for me as well. So I'm just going to jump straight on in there and answer all the questions for you guys. It may be real quick, but um, yeah, so focus. <laughs> and make sure to grab your snacks and your drinks. Okay, so question number one. Let me expand these comments a lot. What is your favorite primer, foundation, and foundation brush? If you're stranded on an island and can only grab three makeup items, what do you take? And finally, how are you doing? I am doing great. I'm actually doing pretty fantastic. <laughs> Feeling real good about this whole vlogging or doing a video every day. I'm not vlogging, but... You know, doing a video every day. I'm feeling really good about that. I'm actually feeling good about it. It's fun. <laughs> um, what's my favorite primer? My favorite primer is probably Maybelline Baby Skin. I really like the Becca Evermatte though as well. My favorite foundation is Essay Lauder Double Wear. I really like the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation, but I'm currently out of it. I'm still waiting on my Black Friday order to come. Maybe it'll come one day someday. <laughs> I think it's on its way now though, but I'm still waiting for it to come. So I've been venturing off to other things and right now I'm really liking the Makeup um, Forever foundation, Ooh, foundation stick because I've been using it a lot more lately. Next question. Oh, if I'm stranded on a desert island, what three makeup products do I grab? Richard saw these questions, that question on my Instagram like several times and he's like, if you were stranded on a desert island, I hope you would not want three makeup items. But if I think of it in a not a literal way, I guess the three makeup items that I must have would be something edible. <laughs> I don't know. Like I don't think a makeup item would be something that I would need on a desert island. But if I, the three makeup items that I can't live without will probably be um, foundation, highlighter, and eyebrow. Eyebrow, pencil, <laughs> those would probably be the three things that would be all I need to fix my face. Highlighter, foundation, eyebrow. Yeah, that's all I would need. <laughs> um, what's the worst date you have been on? I guess I wouldn't even need eyebrows, actually, so... Let's say highlight, foundation, and an eyeshadow palette. So Estee Lauder Double Wear, um, Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow, and uh, my Natasha Denona palette. <laughs> my Natasha Denona Star palette. Yeah, that would make the list. What's the worst date you've ever been on? The worst date that I've ever been on... I went on a date one time before I met Richard, like years before I met Richard actually, um, maybe in like 2010 or something, and it, and it was this guy, right, so he, he was basically like, he was an army guy, he was in the army, but he was a real mama's boy, and so on this date, like all he kept saying, all I remember him saying on this date is, my mama said, my mama said, my mama said, <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious like we're on this date he's taking me out to eat and all he's saying over and over again is oh no we went out to eat and then we went to a bar and then we went to the bar and he was, my mama said and my mama said like he's a real real mama's boy like this boy showed me a picture of his mom like <laughs> on the first date like getting to know each other talking and every single thing was like my mama said and it was like whoa 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 this ain't gonna work <laughs> question next question what's your favorite place to eat my favorite place to eat is this mexican restaurant called chewy's i guess you can say that i just like all mexican food so a mexican food place if i'm in california then a belizean or caribbean food place 
and favorite makeup brand and favorite makeup brand and Sephora or Mac. So I would say Sephora, but I do love Mac. And my favorite makeup brand right now is probably Becca. I think <laughs> between Becca and Between Becca, no Becca. Becca would probably be my favorite make makeup brand. Do you have any strange complexes? No, I don't think so. Um, I don't think I have anything like a strange complex. I, I really don't like bugs. I don't like any kind of bugs. Anything that's a bug, I don't like it. But that's probably it. I don't think it's strange though. If you were stranded on an island where a bunch of cavemen reside, <laughs> this is the one we had to laugh out of. What did you bring with you? Max of three items. What would be your weapon of choice and what would you do? My mech my weapon of choice would be an M249 that I can blow everybody up. <laughs> Point blank. And makeup, we already went over that. How long have you lived? Have, how long have you been on YouTube? I've been on YouTube since about 2014, but I've been watching YouTube since 2009, which is when my account was created. Favorite thing about being a YouTuber? My favorite thing about being a YouTuber is being able to talk and communicate to you guys and talk to so many people about makeup because I really don't get to do that every day of my life. Like, I wish I could, but I, I, I mean, other than talking to you guys, there's, there's not that many people that understand it like me. <laughs> there's not that many people that are addicted to makeup like me or really like to talk about makeup. I like to listen to somebody talk about makeup all day so you guys listen and that's pretty amazing it's like a community of girls who love makeup and I feel like we can all grow together and teach each other things and just be awesome and motivate each other when the other one's feeling down and yeah you guys are awesome that's what I love about YouTube is my subscribers next question my question is for all the hobbies and jobs you can choose why choose YouTube and how does it make you happy? So I already said how it makes me happy, but I didn't really choose YouTube. YouTube is more so my hobby. Um, I am a really hard worker, so I like to always be busy. And because I have depression, I like to always be busy. So YouTube is like my hobby. It's something that I do to keep myself busy when work isn't super busy. And... My first job, I'm actually in corporate America. I'm an insurance broker, but um, by night, I guess you can say I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> but yeah, it's not my first job. It's my hobby. Chicken nuggets or chicken schnitzel? Because I don't know what a chicken schnitzel is, I'm going to say chicken nuggets. <laughs> Favorite thing about the holidays is food. <laughs> is it hard to be a YouTuber? When did you start? Yes, it is hard to be a YouTuber. It looks all peaches and apples and candies and beautiful, but really when it comes to apples, what am I talking about? But really, it's not, I mean, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. There's some really easy and fun parts about it, and once you start doing it and doing it and doing it, you get used to it, and it's not hard per se. Like, it's not hard to edit once you're used to it. It's just pushing yourself to actually do it and stay on your schedule and do what you have to do, and... It, it, there's a lot more to it than what meets the eye. I'll say that. What is your favorite celebrity knows? I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> how did you start out becoming a YouTuber? I just picked up, I bought a camera and I just recorded myself. I put some lamps I got from Walmart up and put a blanket, a throw blanket as my background, and that was my first YouTube video. I think I was talking about uh, monthly favorites or hair extensions, clippings, maybe, I don't know what I was talking about, maybe in my natural hair, but it's there still, so you can see it. Do you have any crazy story times? I do have a crazy life, I guess you can say. I used to have a crazy life. I mean, I'm 30 now, so not too many. I'm married, and you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really have crazy stories now because I don't really put myself in situations of craziness at this point in life. But I definitely have had a lot of crazy things happen in life. 
I'm just not sure if I'm ready or willing to open up that can of worms. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's a big can of worms when I start talking about craziness and crazy-ish that's happened. So give me some more time. Let me fi figure out if that's something that I want to do with Dr. Avenue. It's real personal, you know? So I just don't know if I'm ready to do that. So what do you guys think? <laughs> If you were not doing YouTube, what would be your career choice? What is your absolute must-have, can't do without everyday makeup? Um, Bobby Brown Bronze Glow, the highlighter. Which is better, strobing or contouring? I say strobing, but it depends on your face. Because if your face needs contouring, then contouring might be better. But for me, strobing, definitely. What trend do you like the most? Contouring or non-contouring, fuller brows or on fleek brows. I guess I kind of like fuller brows, but fuller while they're still on fleek. And uh, contouring, I do like contouring. What are your five top makeup brands? Um, Becca, Makeup Forever. Um, I really like Jamie Glow Cosmetics Eyeshadows, so I'm going to throw them in there. Kat Von D and uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. If you have a choice to use one makeup product for your entire life, what would you choose and what's your favorite makeup brand? Um, one makeup product for my whole entire life, my skin would probably be really nice because I wouldn't be wearing makeup at all. I'd probably have nice, good coverage because my complexion would be getting sun. So I'm going to say, is it a brand or an item? One makeup product. So I would say a lipstick. So a Kat Von D, a liquid lipstick. <laughs> and what's your favorite makeup brand oh no 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 take that back a NYX um lip soft matte lip cream in Budapest that would be the one lipstick that I would want um what is your favorite tv show of all time and why my favorite tv show of all time I don't know. Right now I'm like having, I don't know what my favorite TV show of all time. Right now I'm actually having like a serious brain fart. Like I watch so many TV shows, you guys, like so many TV shows. My favorite TV show of all time, I'm trying to think of something that I like watched over and over and over and over, you know, like I know there's something. Um, I don't know. I'll pass on that. I'll answer that in my next Q&A. I think my favorite TV show right now, maybe Homeland. Homeland might be my favorite TV show of all time. I love Homeland. Is it coming back, you guys? Do you guys know if it's coming back? Like, it needs to come back. Um, my current favorite TV shows, I really like Power. I don't know where Scandal is, but I really like Scandal. Um, I really like... Uh, I like every TV show there possibly is in this world. No, I like a lot of TV shows, though, seriously. I like the Netflix TV shows, I like Orange is the New Black. Okay, that's one of my, that's my next question. What's your favorite Netflix, what's your favorite Netflix series, Orange is the New Black? Do you prefer matte lips or glossy lips? Um, I think it depends on the mood and the moment. Sometimes I like glossy lips and sometimes I like matte lips. So it depends on what I'm wearing, how I'm feeling. If my lips need love. Do you watch Pretty Little Liars? Yes, I do watch Pretty Little Liars. Richard read that comment and laughed and was so mad because he was like, ah, he does not like Pretty Little Liars. He thinks it's like a repetitive story going over and over and over. And sometimes it is frustrating because it is a repetitive story going over and over and over, but I really do like it. Pretty Little Liars, I like it. <laughs> I have several questions. How did you and your husband meet? Me and my husband met through mutual friends and we've been together every single day since that day. <laughs> how did you know that he was the one I'm still trying to figure that out I don't know <laughs> uh, I, I said that when I read the question to him like I was reading it to him reading him the questions the other night and I said I said the same thing I just said to you and he was like rude <laughs> it's something that we do we just be like rude but um how did I know he was the one? I don't know. To, to me, like, 
I'm, I'm not like this big overly emotional love type person like that's not me so he's like my best friend <laughs> Richard is my best friend and he's the only person I could think of that I don't mind having right there every single day because yeah it's pretty cool how was the reactions of the families on both sides to the union um, my family's cool with it. His family's cool with it. I think they like me. My family likes him. <laughs> how long does it take you to edit your video and how come, how do you come up with videos and ideas for the week? I watch YouTube for so many years now. I think ideas are just like implanted into my mind. So they're all there. And usually if you know, my theme is really like new makeup products that are coming out and things like that. So it's real easy. Because my Instagram, my Instagram is really focused on new makeup products and new things that are coming out. Make sure to add me on Instagram if you haven't already. Snapchat too, because I'm trying to get more into that. But, <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, I just come up with ideas. I don't know, it's just, I just, pretty much if it's a new makeup item and it comes in the mail. And pretty much like vlogging, but not vlogging. So everything that pops in my mind about makeup is what I present to y'all. Everything, literally. And uh, next question, what is your favorite matte shades? Um, matte, matte. My Busy Art matte palette, The both of them actually, all three actually. I have the cool mattes, I have the neutral mattes, and I have the dark mattes, and all three of those are probably my favorite matte palettes right now. Are you a food lover? Um, Richard is really the food lover in this house, but I like food. <laughs> um... When are you going to formally introduce us to your husband? I think I already did that. I'm pretty sure you guys seen him in the wedding video. You've seen him in a couple of makeup videos. Um, you will see him or you will have already seen him in my husband does my voiceover tag. So you guys seen Richard. You guys know Richard, right? Do I need to introduce him again? No, there's vlogs with me and Richard. You just gotta go back and watch the old video, girl. He's in there. <laughs> Can you tour us inside your house? Yes, eventually I will. One day, someday, soon. Did you ever try to wear dark color cosmetics? Dark colors cosmetics. I don't know what brand that is. Is that a brand or are you just asking me like dark colors? I wear dark colors. And what are your favorite looks? Um, I really like this look that I have going on right now. This is really pretty. Make sure to thumbs up this video if you think this is pretty too. Um, Oh, I do have a video on this look. It's either out already or about to come out. So stay tuned or check it out. One of the two. I'll link it in the card if it's already out. Or once it's out, I'll link it in the card. What's your favorite chocolate? Just regular chocolate. Maybe with some almonds in it. Um, what is your favorite clothing brand? My favorite clothing brand right now is Fashion Nova. I really like Fashion Nova. Oh, and Peak. I like Victoria's Secret Peak. Oh my god, I was waiting for this. I have so many questions. <laughs> what is your big dream? My big dream is to be a billionaire with a whole bunch of different businesses. <laughs> Literally, that's my dream. Just like um, Candy from Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's my dream. To have like a whole bunch of different businesses and just be like a businesswoman. Who is your inspiration? My inspiration is... I don't think I have one. I think I'm maybe Michelle Obama. Like, I'm just inspired to be the best. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't really have an inspiration. Where do you, or maybe Oprah. Oprah. <laughs> Where do you find yourself after 10 years? Do you know that I love your personality? Oh, I know now. And I see myself in 10 years being very successful. I'm not sure exactly what I'll be doing, but I will be very successful. What was your favorite? First ever makeup item. My first ever makeup item was most likely a lipstick. Or probably a lip gloss, actually. <laughs> well, are you binge watching any shows currently? Right now I'm binge watching a show called The Fall. Right before The Fall, I was binge, binge watching. I was binge watching Black Ink, Chicago and LA. And then right before that, I was binge watching Real Housewives of Atlanta. And then right before that, I was binge watching, um, I don't know, the list goes on. <laughs> I always binge watch stuff. I love, that's like my favorite type of TV show to watch. It's like a never ending movie when you just watch like season after season, back to back to back, like two, three episodes a night. You guys know. <laughs> 
But yeah, I love binge watching stuff. I'm probably almost like out of things to binge watch. That's why at this point I'm on Netflix looking for more things to binge watch. Okay, at this point I think I have to cut off the questions because I think this video is getting way too long. <laughs> so I will do a part two of this Q&A. So make sure to stay tuned for that and another video coming soon, maybe in about a week. So I'm going to leave that status up and I will mark off where I left off and we will continue the questions. If you guys have any other questions, just go to that Instagram status and write them there and I'll get to it. Thank you guys for watching and bye y'all.